This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Hey friends, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jenna. I love to crochet plushies. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. For anyone who's watched my channel before, you're probably thinking, Jenna, why are you in a kitchen? So my husband and I recently just moved from Mississippi to California. And of course, I vlogged the entire process for you guys. I'm really excited. I think it's gonna be like a three-part series where I'll show like packing up, the actual cross-country move, and then finally setting up the new house. So Spoiler alert, this is my new kitchen in California. But I found a ton of footage that I never showed you guys where I crochet a bunch of orders before the move. So I wanted to show you guys all of that first in this vlog. I also did a huge yarn giveaway to my patrons that I filmed. And then I also started like organizing and packing up my yarn closet. So all of that content will be in this vlog. And then next week's vlog will start with the whole moving series. And our new house right now is a hot mess. So that is why I'm coming to you guys from my kitchen. But okay, with that, let's get into today's video. Good morning, friends. I'm coming on because I am trying to finish out all of my outstanding orders. It is currently February 26th. We have two weeks till we move to California. And I am, I don't know how I feel. Like, I feel relaxed for some reason and that is a total false sense of security because I should not feel relaxed. I haven't done any packing. We still have to go through the entire house, purge a bunch of stuff, get all of like the utilities and all that crap in order. We have to sell our house still in Mississippi. We got a lot going on but you know what? I'm going to continue crocheting because I got orders that I need to fulfill so let me show you guys what I've been working on. So first we have a Jumbo Strawberry Turtle. And she's a special strawberry turtle because she has a little fin that is personalized and it says Laura. How cute is that? Also, fun fact, I hand cut these letters myself, like freehand, and I think they look really adorable. I'm honestly really happy with how it turned out. I was a little nervous, not gonna lie, cutting these out. I do have a Cricut, and I have yet to use my Cricut. I'm just like intimidated by it for some reason. Like, I know I'll be able to use it, and there are thousands of people who use Cricut and are able to use it, but I don't know why I feel scared to like dive into that technology and do it. But I think in the future, if I have to do more letters, I will finally bust out my Cricut and use it because freehanding letters is pretty hard, not gonna lie. But this baby is actually going to Australia and it's going to one of my favorite customers, Belinda. This is like the third order that Belinda has placed with me and I am so thankful. Thank you so much, Belinda, for your order. I'm super excited to send this jumbo strawberry turtle to you. I hope she makes it safely across the world. And yeah, my strawberry turtles have always been like one of my favorites, like classic. We love them, we love them. And of course, a little hug check to send her off. And I actually just got done my second order that I needed to do. And what is it, you might ask? It's another strawberry turtle. But this time, the colors are a bit different. I used light pink for the body. And then, of course, the hot pink shell and strawberry stem are the same. But it's just slightly different. This one is not personalized. But she is still super, super cute. Let me see who this turtle is going home to. I need to, like, open up my laptop. Okay, so this strawberry turtle is going home to Tony in Massachusetts. So thank you, Tony. Super excited for you to get your strawberry turtle. And here are the two strawberry turtles side by side. As you can see, this one has kind of like a mauve pink and this one is more light pink. Super cute though. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's a double hug check. Ah, this is so cute. They're just so jumbo. I think turtles will forever be my favorite plushie to make. Like, look at them, they're just so cute. Okay, and the last order that I'm going to be working on today is, can you guess? A human-sized turtle, and not any human-sized turtle. We are going to be making a human-sized sunflower turtle. Super exciting. So I got done the fins. So these are the front fins. Then we got the back fins and the tail. So all that is left now is to do the shell, the petals, and the head. And I'm really excited to make this turtle. I haven't made a human-sized turtle since my big turtle order back in December for Gimme Seaweed. So I'm really excited to be making a human-sized turtle again. And actually, I haven't made a human-sized sunflower turtle since last summer. So this is gonna be fun. This turtle is a special order from one of my patrons. Shout out, Megan. Thank you so much for your order. She said she wanted the turtle to be a surprise color-wise, so I decided to go with this really pretty light blue. 
And then we're just gonna do the regular sunflower coloring for the shell and the petals, but it's gonna look so good with this blue, guys. Like, I'm excited. So I'm gonna get back to crocheting. Okay guys, I'm checking back in with you guys. We are making some good progress. I finished the shell. I'm about to start sewing the fins into the body and I wanted to pause here and come on because I get so many questions specifically on my human sized turtles and my small child turtles and even sometimes the jumbo sized turtles. People ask, hey, my shell is really pointed and cone-like and I just wanted to clear something up. So as you can see, like I just got done my shell and it is pretty pointy, I'm not gonna lie. It kind of looks like a Hershey Kiss right now. But but I'm not concerned because I know once I stuff this turtle the point will go away like the shell will round out and it will look exactly how it's supposed to so do not be alarmed if you're like starting the shell and you're getting like a really pointy top because right now as you can see mine's pretty pointy too but it'll go away and I'll show you guys when we stuff this shell and when the turtle's all done it'll look completely normal so don't worry I will say in the beginning rounds of the shell so like the first few rounds like the magic ring one two three I would try to like keep a pretty loose tension if you make it super super tight tension you are like more likely to get a really pointed shell and again it should go away once we stuff the turtle but just to play it safe maybe try to loosen up your tension a bit in those first few rounds to make sure it's not super super pointy I also feel like I'm throwing like a pizza pie like whoa <laughs> but okay getting distracted let's sew the turtle together okay coming on just to show you guys i just finished stuffing the shell and finishing it up and look at that no point it is completely nice and round and flat and she's looking really cute i am now going to work on adding the petals and i still need to make the head okay guys look what i just finished making the head oh my gosh it never gets old making these turtles because like this head is massive and i just am never not shocked after i make the head at how big it turns out like look at that look at that size comparison so yeah it's been a very successful day time to go sew the head on and then i still need to do the petals actually you'll see the turtle chilling in the background there's the body so let's get this turtle done Hello friends, I finished the sunflower turtle. She's chilling over there. Let me go show you guys. I love how she turned out. Also, I don't know if you hear, but I think I'm getting sick. I don't know, it is the worst possible timing, but at least I am finishing up all my orders. This was one of the last orders I had to do. So after this, I can just focus on packing and moving. <gasps> Here she is! Ah! Look how amazing the sunflower turtle turned out. Like, look at that contrasting color. I love the light blue body with the contrast of the yellow petals and brown shell. Like, how adorable. And like, look how massive she is, guys. Full on hug check. She is so cuddly, so huggable, and massive. Like, she's taking up my entire body. I have to go on my tippy toes. I am so excited for Megan to get her. Thank you so much again, Megan. Like, look at this. It is like a whole freaking child. Like, oh my gosh, the head is bigger than my head. It turned out so cute. Thank you so much, Megan. I'm so excited for you to get your turtle. Just wanted to take a quick break from the video to talk about today's sponsor, Squarespace. In case you didn't already know, Squarespace is the all-in-one website platform that will allow you to create beautiful, professional websites, engage with your audience, and sell literally anything online successfully. One of my favorite features about Squarespace is that they offer thousands of professional website templates, so you don't need to have any coding experience to get a beautiful website set up. They also have a super easy website builder where it's a drag-and-drop system, so it makes it really simple to customize your website. Another great feature that Squarespace offers is the ability to have an online store. You can sell both digital and physical products and that's perfect for us crocheters because we have PDF patterns and physical plushies. And then lastly, if you sell in person a lot, whether at markets or pop-up events, you can get a square reader and that will allow you to take in-person sales and all of your inventory will sync across your online store. Head to squarespace.com for your free trial and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash crochet by Jenna to receive 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you so much Squarespace for sponsoring another video and with that let's get back into it good morning friends i am coming on because i am so happy i just got done my last order before i move and it is a huge relief to me knowing that i can finally 
wrap up all of the crochet orders. I can start packing and really get into the moving mindset. So a customer reached out to me. Her name is Meg and she wanted me to basically recreate this sticker into a plushie. And let me show you guys the sticker. So here's the sticker. It is of this little turtle guy. He has a little hat on and he's pretty cute. And she wanted me to recreate this. So looking at this turtle, it's not like the typical turtle that I usually make. Usually I make sea turtles and this is more like a tortoise. So I had to go online and I found a pattern that pretty much resembled this turtle, but then I would have to tweak it a bit. That's usually my approach with customs. I always try to look online to see if there's an existing pattern. And if there's a pattern that is like close to it, I can work with it, use that for like the foundation and then make tweaks as I go. So the pattern that I went with is this pattern by Barbara. I will link it in the description box in case you guys want to make this turtle as well. But this is what the turtle looks like for her pattern. And as you can see, it's pretty similar. So I went ahead and started designing the turtle. The only thing I really had to change was the shell. And then of course I had to crochet the little hat. So I just finished it and I love how it turned out. Let me show you guys. So here it is. Here is our little turtle dude. Look at him. So as you can see, I changed up the shell. I basically just freehanded the shell. Um, I saw in the sticker that the shell was kind of like wavy. It didn't have like the typical just like bulge like my sea turtles did. So I just did a bunch of like double crochet honestly to like elongate the shell and make it look kind of like wavy and it drapes down like that but then for the rest of the turtle I just followed Barbara's design and I love how it turned out look how cute the little legs are the tail I love it so much you guys and I then just free handed the hat so here's his little hat <laughs> and there you go he's all done and he is ready to go off to Meg I love how he turned out and for the eyes I just wanted to call to attention real quick I just did some like felt I hand cut the felt and I thought it would be cute instead of just like the regular safety eyes but he's done he's so cute so Meg if you're watching thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to make this turtle for you I'm so excited for you to get it and with that we are officially done until we move to California Woohoo! Okay, now I'm going to put my moving cap on and I'm really gonna get into the moving mindset. I'm actually hosting a free yarn giveaway to all of my patrons. I told them I really need to purge a lot of my yarn that I just haven't used in honestly over a year. And I thought it would be so great to give back to my patrons. So shout out patrons. Thank you guys for all of the constant support. Hopefully I will get that yarn giveaway under wraps this weekend and then I can just start boxing everything up. I'm super excited for the future vlogs on my channel though because I really am gonna try to document the entire moving process. Moving across the country is quite adventurous and honestly, I've never done it before. This is my first time that I'll be on the West Coast and I really wanna document it. I think it would be so fun to look back on this and like have this footage in place. So yeah, hopefully I keep my word and I document everything. All right guys, I thought I would show you the chaos of my yarn overflow. Um, I just have way too much yarn. As you can see, it's taking up this entire room. Um, it is crazy in here. It's like the freaking stock room of Joann's exploded. This is probably only like a third of what I plan on giving away. Like I need to still go through all these boxes, but we're getting there. Love a good purge. Shay's been having a lot of fun. As you can see, we have a little yarn gremlin in there. She is being so crazy, oh my goodness. Happy Friday, everybody. I actually just got a special delivery and I wanted to show you guys. It is not crochet related, but I love stuffed animals. That's a big reason why I got into crochet in the first place. The thought of making my own stuffed animals made me like so happy because I've always loved stuffed animals. So I just bought my first jelly cat and I have never heard of jelly cat. And I feel like I just kept seeing it a lot recently. Like the brand has been around for years, but I think it just recently got pretty popular on social media who knows like I've never heard of it before but basically they make really really cute stuffed animals and I'm like okay I need to buy one take your best guess on what stuffed animal I got from jelly cat for my first ever one it is so random it's also not like me to get this plushie like I never thought I would get this animal in plushie form like it's so random honestly it was definitely an impulse purchase for sure but I do not regret it. Okay, if you have your guests locked in, let me show you guys what I got. It's a lobster! <laughs> Wait, it's so cute. His little heart claws is what like tugged on my heart 
heartstring. I'm like, okay, I need this little lobster. Like, look at his face. It's so derpy and cute. Look at him. I also love how he's just kind of like a shrimp shape where he's kind of like curved upwards like this. Like, are you kidding me? Like, he's so cute. I needed him in my life. He's gonna be my little desk friend. And yeah, I do not regret this purchase at all. I kind of want to crochet a lobster now because like he is giving me life. Am I suddenly gonna be turned into a lobster lover? Like maybe I'm gonna enter my lobster era. I have no idea. People who watch Friends, you know that saying like you're my lobster or something like that. I think it would be cute to like crochet a lobster and yeah. Maybe the move is getting to me and I've gone completely off the deep end, but this is what adult money is about. It's about buying stuff that fulfills you and if that's a stuffed animal lobster, I, I'm all for it. <laughs> all right, I am going to pack up all of my yarn in my yarn closet. This is what we have to deal with. It is a whole storage closet back here. Whenever I open this closet, I feel like I'm at Joanne's, like in the back. I honestly thought about vacuum sealing all of the yarn, but I don't know. I don't know if that would be worth it. I'm just gonna start by throwing all of this yarn into a box and we'll see how much can fit in like one box and just go from there. I'm using like this Lowe's medium. This is my stash of Premier Chunky in white. It's this whole thing. I am such a hoarder when it comes to yarn. Okay, honestly guys, I just filled up this whole medium box with like, I didn't keep track of how many skeins it was, but I don't know. I still have all of this yarn up here. So I feel like what, how many boxes do you think that would be? Maybe like three medium sized boxes? I feel like that's just not an efficient use of the box. Maybe I will try vacuum sealing, but all right, we're gonna keep going. Alright guys, I can't believe what I'm looking at right now. We packed everything up and this is some yarn that I'm gonna give away so I set it aside. So all of these boxes are the yarn I just packed up. I also have all of this acrylic yarn. I need to pack that up as well, but we are getting there. All right, I'm coming on because we just cleaned our entire house because we are having a showing, our first showing ever, so crossing the fingers. But I wanted to give you guys a quick tour of my old, you know, office and studio before we move. That way, when I show you guys my new studio, we have something to compare it to. So let me turn you around. Of course, we have Miss Shay, but, and we have Miss Callie here too. So technically, this space that my studio is in is the dining room, but we really don't need a dining room, so we transformed it into my office. So there's two different entrances. You can go through this entrance, which is directly from our front door, or you can go through like the kitchen entrance, and that goes into our bedroom. Let me just pan you guys around. I absolutely love my office. Like, it was such a beautiful space. I love all the natural lighting from the two big windows here. This is the background you guys typically see. This is where all my shelves are. And then here is my lovely yarn wall that my husband built for me. I get a lot of questions asking where this yarn wall is from. Although my husband built this for me, I feel like you get like a dupe off of Target or like Ikea. And then this area is like the little art wall. We have my six cube organizer. And then here is my desk where I do all my filming. I work my corporate job here. And then we have my three bin organizers here. 
so yeah it's a great space i'm gonna miss it it served me well but i'm excited to see what the new office will look like callie you excited to move all right, I am almost done packing up all of the yarn for the giveaway. Look at all of the packages. I'm so excited to send this yarn off. It's felt so great to purge and know that this yarn will be going to people who will actually use it, unlike me. So shout out to my patrons once again. You guys are amazing and I hope you enjoy all of your yarn. Oh my gosh guys so usually i go outside to take pictures but there was this huge bee oh my gosh wait you can see it there's the bee oh my gosh can you see him look how big that bumblebee is and i was trying to take pictures outside and of course this bee came around and i am deathly scared of bees um so of course i ran inside but i'm sad to say there has been a yarn casualty. This yellow skein has sadly been um, left behind and the bee is circling it. So there is no way I'm going outside. No way, like look at that. Can you guys see that bee? Oh my gosh, the bee is coming for me. You guys, this is not a drill. I just created the cutest mallard pattern. And I know there's already a ton of like bird patterns, mallard patterns, but I wanted my pattern to be different. I wanted it to be mini. I wanted it to be completely no sew. And I wanted it to be a different configuration. A lot of the bird patterns have the birds like sitting up. So I wanted to change it up and let me show you guys what I came up with. I am like jumping out of my seat. It is so cute. So here's my baby. Look at the mallard. Okay, my favorite part of this pattern are the little feet that you can tuck behind and it looks like he's flying through the air or he could just be laying on his belly and doing like a little dive into the pond. It is so cute. And then the feet are actually like floppy. So you could just also have it like this and have him just like sitting up chilling. And yeah, so let me show you, this is the front of him. Okay, obsessed guys, I'm obsessed. And here are his wings and you could also do this. So it's like he's swimming, he's flying, everything's floppy, everything's no so. And like, look how small he is. Oh my gosh, hug check. He's so cute. <laughs> I cannot, guys. I I cannot. I'm I'm dead. I am dead. The cuteness killed me. So I'm actually in the middle of creating a few more color variations. I feel like there's so many birds that you could make out of this pattern. So I'm trying to come up with some different variations. I think this pattern will ultimately be like a three-in-one, four-in-one. We'll see how many, you know, combinations I can come up with. Maybe there will be like a few different packs that you could get. But oh my gosh, like... I'm obsessed, you guys. I am obsessed. Oh my gosh, Shay is on my desk and she knocked the camera over. Oh my gosh. Um, also, I should be packing, but I am creating patterns instead. My patrons saw this pattern first. I was too excited. I had to show them. So they're gonna pattern test it for me. Oh my gosh, Shay is still rubbing on the camera. So shout out to my patrons. You guys are the best. Thank you so much for testing my pattern. And for everybody else, by the time this video comes out, this pattern will definitely be live on my Etsy, on my website. So definitely check it out if you want to make your very own laying down, swimming, just chilling, super cute, no so mallard. Oh my gosh, that was like a handful to say, but yeah. Shameless plug, this mallard pattern is my favorite. The little feet. Okay guys, I finished the pattern bundle and oh my gosh, look how cute they look all spread out on the TV stand. They're so cute. So this is the flamingo, then we got the mallard, the chicken, and the chick. And they're so cute. I love how they're on their bellies. And like I showed you earlier with the mallard, you can also prop them up like this. They could be sitting. Their wings are super flexible too and movable, so they could be swimming. I definitely want to make more variations, but yeah, these are the first four. So cute. Look at them. New decor. 
Okay, I'm coming on because I wanted to show you guys like a deep dive into the birds that I created. This is the flamingo and I am in love with how she turned out. I think the color for her is perfect. This is Premier Parfait Chunky in color hibiscus and it's the perfect flamingo color. But yeah, look at her. And then I also did just the regular chick. Super cute, especially with like Easter and everything coming up, springtime so cute and then of course i had to do a chicken i love the little frill at the top super cute super cute and then of course we have mr mallard here classic bird you have to have a mallard if you're making a bird pattern but i just love them because they're no so they're mini and you can stack them so easily because their bellies are flat so it's like they're lying down and then their wings are super flexible and movable so it looks like they're flying they're swimming it is adorable same thing with their feet you can flop the feet around and yeah like what this is so cute, you guys. Like, I definitely want to make more variations. There's so many birds that you could make from this pattern. And I feel like these would do really well at markets because people typically love, like, the birds in general. But seeing them, like, stacked like this, it would be so cute. So by the time this video comes out, this pattern pack will be available on my Etsy and my website. And I'm super excited to see everybody's birds. Little hug check on all of them. They're so cute, you guys. I'm so excited for this pattern. And then my patrons will actually actually get this pattern for free in April so shout out patrons and then also thank you to all the patrons who pattern tested for me you guys did a great job and you guys are seriously the best but all right I think we're gonna call the video here this is future Jenna coming to you hot from California I am going back and editing all my videos and realize this video didn't have an outro so spoiler this is my new office but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and be sure to subscribe if you're not already so you can see the next video in my moving vlog series but all right I hope everyone has a great rest of your day I'll catch you in my next one bye